Uh, I don't know. That's a great question. <laughs> what I heard, my goal was a 4-6. That was my goal. I'm hearing uh, high 4-6, low 4-7, but somewhere around that. That's excellent. In terms of just putting all the work to get to this moment today, what has the process been like, and then how do you feel it all came off in this moment? Oh, uh, I mean, yeah, it's been, um, it, it been an experience. It's been an experience, of course, but nothing I ain't used to. You know, nothing I ain't used to. Just hard work always pays off. That's what I live by. You talk about the hard work. Kind of an underdog story, right? Mm -hmm. Your route to get to this point here in South Carolina. You even stayed the extra year that you had to prove yourself and work on your craft. What do you think you proved to the pro scouts with all the work you put in throughout your journey that you're ready? Mm -hmm. What's next? Step? Well, for sure. Um, always in my mind, since day one, I always know what I, uh, my capabilities and what I, what I could do. So um, in my head, I know my work. So, you know, I hope they came out here and seen, seen that as well. What do people need to know about this? I mean, it's been, it's been a stressful few months and now the big day's over with. What do people know, need to know about you? Um, just just always know uh, hard work pays off, man. Uh, just keep your head down, give God all the glory, hard work pays off, and just run your race and you'll never come in second. That's another thing I live by. What do you hope the scouts take away from today's performance about what type of player you are on the field and also being able to interact with them? What type of player you are off the field? Well, um, hopefully they just got a chance to kind of see me in a different perspective, a different light, uh, see, see, see more of the things I, kick, uh, I possess, my capabilities and everything like that. What will be the toughest part, you think, over these next weeks as you try to sit, wait, figure out who's interested, who's biting, where you might go? Oh, man, I don't think that part is going to be hard because just like I said, I give it all to God. So I just handle my business, uh, put in the work, and just reap the benefits. Which drill was the most fun to do out here today? Uh, racing JJ. Me and JJ, had, <laughs> me and JJ had a uh, get off. So I looked at him before, and I was just like, all right, now. But that was, that was pretty fun. He was pretty tired too. So yeah, I, you know, that was, it was an advantage just on my part. Uh, Wait, what, wear him down, huh? For sure. <laughs> no, go ahead, Mike. Yeah, I'm gonna say you back a couple of years ago. I'm sure you have NFL dreams as a young kid, but you know, when you got here, you know, in terms of where it is right now, did you ever imagine it would actually play out the way that it did? And you know, what was this day like for you to be, be here amongst that close community? Well, not at all. Um, of course, I had NFL dreams, and then when I got here, um, when you face opposition and, and adversity, you know, them dreams kind of got derailed. But I just had to get back to uh, just, you know, putting all my faith in God and just believing and trusting the process. So um, just to be out here today, man, and just going out there, having fun, giving it all I got, oh, uh, man, it was a dream come true. Just lay it all out there, no pressure, don't worry about what scouts are thinking, what scouts are saying, just go out there and just give it all you got. Were you tempted to tackle Zeb? quarterback when he was dying. <laughs> hey, I made a joke, man. Old man still got some juice in that arm. Which point of game thoughts did you speak with, if any, uh, leading up to this to try to be able to get an idea of what, what today was going to be like, what the nerves would mm -hmm. probably feel like last night? Well, you know, um, Dennis Daly and Javon Kinlaw, we're pretty tight. Uh, that go way back, so we got a group chat. We talk daily. <laughs> we talk daily. So, of course, those have been some guys. Uh, I had to see uh, Tashawn. Tashawn, he was here the other day. Me and him just talked. I mean, a lot of guys, a lot of guys, they all reached out. Uh, one crazy part, when I was in Miami, I was training with Warren Sapp, and uh, Warren Sapp just gave me a lot of insight. He just told me, just go out there, you know, just, just go out there and do your thing. You mentioned insight in terms of physical. What did he work with you on just in terms of how you get off the line? Maybe help. You're talking about a Hall of Fame yeah, yeah, <laughs> caliber guy there. <laughs> yeah, definitely. So the thing about it, uh, he's seen some deficiencies in my rush, in my pass rush. So he just kind of helped me uh, get around the corner faster and not – D-line stuff, not uh, bring that foot back, but actually moving that foot. So he helped me out with that. And the biggest thing overall is just mental. Mental. Don't, don't overthink it. Don't take yourself out the, um, out the plate. Just go ahead and, you know, get the best you got. What did it mean to have a guy like Warren Sapp willing to work with you? I mean, I'm sure there's a lot of guys that wish they could have had the opportunity that you had to work with Warren yeah. Sapp. So what's crazy, this is a crazy backstory to um, he was there working out some NFL guys. And um, I went over there and I was eating my breakfast. And I was just looking. I was on outside of the fence. So after I got done with my breakfast, he was like, um, come on the other side of the fence. You can't learn nothing over there. And I ran, I beeline, and went to go grab my cleats, man. And uh, I actually wasn't supposed to be working out with him, but he uh, he, 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 he embraced me with open arms. And, and he actually went on for a couple of days, and he actually showed me a lot of a lot of love. So I appreciate that. Coincidental breakfast timing. What were you having as your breakfast? Is it like a good luck breakfast for oh, now nah, on? Nah, I was eating oatmeal. So <laughs> I was training at Bomberillo's down in Miami. We eat oatmeal every morning. And even when I got back two weeks ago, still to this day, I eat oatmeal every morning now. Yeah. <laughs> 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 
think back on that time and think about it for the last couple of years and see if it's not here now. Yeah, I mean, it was a long road, but um, just like I said, I live by what I had to learn throughout this project, throughout this journey. You run your race, you're never coming second. So um, that's something that just always been heartened in my mind, always heartened in my mind. So just like I said, I give all the glory to God. So he take care of all the hard part, man. All I got to do is just put the work in. Nick was saying that You guys obviously had you know, we're in a tough spot when the season takes over and you know you have the year you do. What was it like sort of seeing the finality of that and sort of the conclusion of it and, and just seeing where you guys were in like January in twenty two, end of season when you're bowl game and now? Man, we talk about it all the time, to be honest. We talk about it. me me and Jalen Foster were training uh, together down in Miami. JJ was in Fort Lauderdale, so we all go get dinner from time to time and we all just talk about it, man, just like, wow, look at it. Like, you know, we feel good about it, really. We can kind of pat ourselves on the back, you know, but just kind of turning turn it around. That was the goal. That was the goal for coming back this last year, and I felt like it was a mission complete. And how great is it for you, Jalen, and JJ to be a part of that group to kind of help change the culture and turn things around here in Carolina? Man, it's huge, man. It's huge because, uh, just like I said, that was a, a road we didn't even know that we had to embrace, you know, at the beginning. So it kind of just came and we just kind of, you know, all got together, all the guys, we all got together and just worked toward it. And, you know, it kind of paid off. Awesome. Did, you know, for you, was there like a moment this year where you were kind of like, all right, we're going to figure this thing out and we're going to like, we're, we're going to be all right? Yeah, I think it was after a and loss. It was pretty bad. Uh, spirits was low. I couldn't get no sleep. And I was just thinking, I was like, man, the morale of the team and everything. It's kind of, kind of low in it. I, um, I remember that from, you know, from time the past or whatever. And I was like, nah, not this time, not this time. So I ended up, Coach Beamer told the story. I called him early in the morning and I told him, Coach, we got your back. I just wanted him to know that, you know, we had, we was gonna fight for him.